bite on this pole. Can you get it? I got my other one out. Alright, guess. Yeah, you got one. Is there one on it? Yep. Here, I gotta get this. Oh, it is one. Oh my gosh, your favorite. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You love them little catfish, don't you? Uh-huh. Daddy. You want me to take him off? He's making that little... He's a squeaker. Daddy, he's making that little creepy noise again. Right? Look how cute he is. Mm-hmm. Be careful now. I know. Daddy, you should have your grow pop camera out. I do. On? It's on. Say good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to All Fish Matter. We are out at our favorite little reservoir and trying Daddy. to catch some saw guy again. I'll get it, buddy. I'll get it. Where is it? I don't know. It doesn't feel very big. Oh, it's a little baby saw guy. <laughs> See, that's the right kind. He just isn't big enough, is he? Yeah, I keep. But they don't. Look how pretty he is, though. Oh, let me help you. See his teeth? Uh -huh. You can't do this with it. No, you can't lip him. Yeah, because he got soft. Do you want to give him a kiss for good luck? No? I don't like kisses. All right. Kiss. See you, buddy. See you next year, hopefully. Hey, In this lake, they have to be 15 inches to keep. Daddy. And along with our simple, along with our simple, simple uh, Daddy. operation, we're going uber simple today. Daddy, and we're fishing a night crawler on a jig head. About as simple as it gets. Daddy, we got one. Daddy, I saw no More perch. Daddy, I just, I just found another perch. You want to hold him? A perch. Yeah, but he mouth a little bit smaller, right? Yeah, they don't have very big mouth. What kind of fish is that? Well, he didn't give us much warning, but Caleb got. Gilzilla here. That is a Gilzilla. That's a. Hey, is it you? Nope. I got Caleb. Caleb baited up here. And you got a bite. Buddy, I need the net. It's a big saw guy. Bring him right here, okay? Good job. Good job. <laughs> that one will be a keeper. Those pretty things. And here, tell you what, guys, you're going in for a big surprise. We're going to make. We're going to make some steamed fish with this. You guys are going to be so pumped when you see it. It's going to be amazing. After Saul Guy, probably. There might be another one. Nope. It's a bluegill, but very nice bluegill. Yeah, and it's big. He's a big one, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Big hand size ones. So. Yeah, I like it like this. Note that's like a sea lice type thing on him, like but all fish matter, guys. Look at how beautiful that is in the sun. Even if we're not catching saw guy, I don't need that many to make steamed fish. A couple would be awesome. So we got one. We're going to keep trying to get another one. You want to throw him back? Good job.
job, bud. He got my head wet. He did a little bit? Yes. Caleb, how come you're not getting those fish? They only got two. Are you close enough to the bottom? Let me see. Let me fix your pole. Yeah, that should be good, buddy. We'll keep watching it. You'll get one. I don't know what time it is, probably. 10 to one. 10 to one and it's already starting to get hot, so. Or I'm sorry, 10 to eight. 10 to eight and it's already getting hot and. Oh, there's another fish. That, my friends, is a little baby. Caleb, 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 you got a fish. You got a fish too, bud. What do you got? Let me see. Oh my gosh, that's a big bluegill, bud. Daddy, my favorite cactus. I know, I should let you hold him, but look at that big bluegill you got. Won't you let him go? Yeah, we got a double. Yeah, we did get a double. Almost a triple, because we had one on this other pole. But he come up, though. Guys, I've said it before, but when the pediatrician asks you if your kids are meeting their milestones and they start naming milestones they never mention taking their own fish off the hook that should definitely be a milestone right you guys let me know what you think there i need help no you need to get some slack here there you go now there you go pull your worm up on the line here that way you can get to your hook there you go go for it Soft right here. No, he's not soft. It's easier to hold him from the belly. Remember how I showed you? No, they like it though. Okay, do it however you want. Mr. Independent. Ow, 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 ow. It's okay. Ow, ow. Hold him by the belly there. That's a hard one, isn't it? There we go. You wanna say anything about him? Your fish? No. Okay. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. Did you get something? You did, you got a, you got a fish. Oh, dude, I told you that pink was where it was at. You want to take him off? I'll let you take him off. Okay. Show us how you do this. Dad, I you just guess. did it, didn't you? You yeah. popped him right out of there. Uh -huh. Way to go. Goodbye, little buddy. Dad, you... Goodbye, little Dad, buddy. I can't cast that far. There's one. Caleb, I think I'm gonna need the net. Okay, let me read it back. Can you get it? Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a really big one. Can you get him? Oh, bud, missed him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta wait till the fish is in there. Now get him. Oh, nice one, buddy. Let him cool off. How about we let him cool off in the basket? Give me some. Nice net job, buddy. All right, let me see him. He's too heavy. I don't think we need to, but he's he's plenty big. He's probably 18 inches. Because I've been doing this for a really long time. So, another really nice one. 
You saw he came on that plain lead jig. So we're gonna pull up our basket and dump him in there. You know how we, we got two now. Yeah, we got two now. Yep. We got two. So, if you let your kids net your fish, there's a really high chance that you're going to lose some every now and then. But it's worth it because he really enjoys it. What happens when it's really hot and you woke your son up at 5 a.m. You're looking at it. Look at this little tiny catfish, Caleb. Hold him by the belly. What? Like, oh! Okay. okay. Be real careful with him. You got him? He's so quiet. He's squeak. He's not squeaking. He is, but he's quiet. All right. Well, let's get him back in the water. Let him grow up a little bit. So the first thing you got to do when you're scaling these fish, you just take one of these scalers. This is uh, like a Walmart scaler. And this is the kind of scaler we use only for, um, or this is the only type of preparation I do when I'm making steamed fish. I normally fillet everything. And you just go against the grain here and you're basically just scraping off the scales. Make sure you get right up against the fins and the head. Sometimes what I like to do is give it a little rinse. And that sort of lets me know where I'm at. And they always like to hide around those fins. So get as many as you can, but honestly, if there's a few scales, it's not gonna kill you. Okay, so the second step of this is pretty simple. You're basically going to just cut the tail off. And then from the anus up into between the pectoral fins here, you're going to cut. Just be careful when you're cutting this part. But it'll go all the way up to there. And you're just going to remove everything out of here.
the only other thing you should really have to cut there's like an esophagus or something right here and then you take this and you give it to your chickens because chickens love some good old-fashioned fish guts don't know why but they do so we're going to take and hose this out your cooler off you don't want to do this on your truck bed unless it's your buddy's truck bed then that's okay so there's our fish gutted ready to go we'll see you inside all right guys here we go we have uh, a few different things we need for steamed fish so steamed fish is an Asian recipe um, I'm not saying this is the only way or the best way or the um, the way you should do it. This is the way I was taught to do it and it's very good. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So I have a wok here. The chopsticks in the bottom are to keep a plate from falling down in there. Um, I have a little tiny pan that I'm actually going to put peanut oil in. So just regular plain peanut oil and we're going to heat it up pretty hot instead of fresh garlic I use this fresh garlic um, paste you can buy it like in the I, I got this at Kroger and it works pretty good and you actually spread that on the fish the other two things you're going to need are um, cilantro and green onions now the cilantro has been debated I guess uh, I guess some some countries don't use the cilantro some people do I like the cilantro again that's always up to you this is the fish we scaled I have him he's been in the refrigerator um, and we're going to show you here in just a few minutes how we prepare this okay guys one last ingredient I forgot about is the seasoned soy sauce it's specifically uh, made for steamed fish it's pretty good uh, a friend of mine gave me this and uh, I've never tried regular soy sauce, but this this is very good stuff. And as you can see, I'm starting to run out, so I might have to get some more. But um, Lee Kum Kee is the name on it, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, we're going to show you how to get this going. Give us just a minute. So I'm going to pour the oil in here. Um, whatever you don't use you can you can actually we're just going to heat it up we're actually not going to touch it to anything um, and the second thing we're going to do is pour some water and get some water heating up in the wok because again this is steamed and if you have a wok with a lid that's the best thing you can use um, I do not have a wok with a lid so I use a generic lid that's actually a um, that's a big cast iron lid and it fits pretty good as you can see but it's not perfect this the other thing we're going to do here is pour some of this ginger paste on the top of the fish so basically this comes out kind of like toothpaste and just use your finger put as much or as little as you want on I kind of like this ginger so I'm going to put quite a bit on You can put a little bit on the inside if you want to. So this fish has only been gutted and scaled. There's nothing else done. This is just fresh gutted fish that's been scaled. 
All right, well, our water is boiling, so I'm gonna ease this fish down into here. And those chopsticks actually allow a small amount of space around the entire thing so that the steam can come up and cook the fish. So we're gonna cover that up, just like that, and we're gonna set our timer. For a fish that size, we want about 15 minutes, not 15 hours. And we'll catch you here in 15. Meanwhile, I have that oil cooking. And you want that oil good and hot, but you gotta be careful because oil will actually uh, ignite if it gets too hot. So don't be crazy with the oil, just good and hot. Um, I like to keep it on a nice low heat while I'm cooking. And, and no, we're only cooking one of these fish tonight, but if you guys had several of them you wanted to do, what you would do is get them all ready and when one was done, you could take it out and put another one in there. Um, I've never actually tried to do two whole fish at the same time just because I've always done this size of fish and uh, really don't think I could fit too many more in there. So um, I did do crappie one time and they're a thin fish and it only took about six minutes for those to cook. Um, but not quite the payoff as, as this saw guy. So, all right. 13 minutes. All right, so that's 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. This is kind of a tricky part because you have to pick it up, hold it, and dump the water off without the fish sliding off. Oh, it smells so good with that ginger. So after it's good and dry, or after it's good and uh, you've taken off most of that, then you're going to come over here and you're going to apply your onions and your cilantro, depending on where you're from. I like the cilantro. So the last step of this, you're going to take your oil that's scalding hot and pour it over top of this fish. How much you put on is 100% up to you. And the final portion is the soy sauce. And again, 100% up to you. And basically that's gonna mix with that hot peanut oil and make sort of like a sauce in the bottom of the plate that you can dip the fish in. All right, so you can pull off a pretty good chunk of this. My chopstick skills are not good. Oh my gosh. After you get halfway through, you can actually pull the skeleton up out of there and eat the other half. Mmm. So the delicacy, the part that everybody likes, is that cheek. You can pull that cheek up out of there, get a little sauce. It's a completely different texture. The saw guy, actually it almost takes like a, uh, maybe like a scallop or something like that. So no matter how this looks, and what you think it's going to be, try it. Please try it. Let me know after you try it. It is absolutely amazing. I, I I saw it for the first time and I was hesitant, but trust me, it is very good. There are bones here, so be careful with your kids and, and make sure you're helping them with it. Uh, there's definitely more part, some parts that are better than others about being boneless, but give it a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Remember, all fish matter. 
Click subscribe and we'll try to get you another video next week. Thank you.